In this training video, we'll show you how to work with role-based views. The purpose of this feature is to set up a global filter for members of a group, such that when they view any item in MarketSite, the data they see will be filtered automatically. For example, if you have a data set that contains customer satisfaction data from several different locations, but you want the manager of each location to be able to see only the data from his or her location, you would use role-based views to make that happen. There are three steps to setting up this kind of a filter. First, you need to know which variable and value combination you'll base the filter on. Second, you'll need to set up a group. And third, you'll need to define the filter, called a role-based view, for that group. We'll start by taking a look on the variable page at the variable we're going to use for this filter. We're going to use the variable called city. And note that the code is also city. And we'll use the value called Atlanta. Now let's go to groups to set it up. To set up groups and role-based views, you must be an account administrator. To access the administration menu, click on your username in the black bar at the top of the screen and select the administration item. You'll see that the blue menu bar changes to the administration menu. Click on the groups item here. Here you'll see all the groups that have been created for this account. Our objective is to set up a group that includes the managers of the Atlanta location. We'll click New to set up a new group. We'll call it Atlanta Managers. Next, we'll set up the filter. To do that, we first specify the variable we want to filter on and then the value. As you'll recall, the code for the variable is city and the value is Atlanta. So now, for anyone who is a member of this group, Whenever they look at any item in this account, for any data set, if the data set has a variable with the code of city, they will only see records or responses where the value for that variable is Atlanta. It's also important to point out that if a data set does not contain a variable whose code is city, the data will not be filtered and users will see all records in that data set. Next, we'll specify the members of this group by clicking on the Members tab. We'll add David Smith to this group by dragging his name from left to right. He's now a member of this group. To save this group, click OK. I'd like to show you how this new filter works when David is using MarketSite. But first, let's see how the data looks when I view it. I'm logged in as an administrator, so I can see all the data in this account. That means when I open any MarketSite item, such as a crosstab or a chart or any other item, this new filter won't apply to me and I'll see all the records or responses in this data set. Let's take a quick look at a crosstab while I'm still logged in as an administrator so we can see what that looks like. We'll leave the administrator tools by clicking on home and then we'll go to the crosstabs page. I'll open this crosstab, overall satisfaction by gender and age. We can see that the sample size is 500 for this crosstab. I happen to know that that's every record in this data set so there are no filters being applied to this crosstab, and we're seeing everyone. Now if I log in as David Smith, and then open the same crosstab, I'll see only a subset of that data. You can see here that the sample size of 45 is much smaller for the same exact crosstab, which means the data has been filtered for David. In fact, if we drill down on this cell by right-clicking to create a data view and then add the city field to that data table, we can see that all the respondents are from Atlanta. The power of role-based views is that once you set up your groups and your filters, any crosstab, chart, data view, or dashboard in this account will be automatically filtered for the members of those groups for every data set in the account. That concludes this training video on using role-based views.